This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. So guys, uh, now this is a pre-recorded session and uh, just now uh, since I have, uh, you know, completed this topic, alternative, alternative reconciliation account. So there are the questions uh, asked by, uh, you know, one of my student and uh, the question was what what is the use of alternative reconciliation id so guys this what is like the use of alternative reconciliation account and how we are going to map it that is already covered just now just what to say uh, some 10 15 minutes back now so this question what is the use of alternative reconciliation id now i'll just do one thing guys quickly i'll let you know here practically what is the use of alternative reconciliation id so guys the alternative reconciliation account concept i have already covered here right and the scenario i have already explained okay now it means like let's suppose we are having a vendor and that vendor is buying our manufacturing uh, from from that vendor we are buying manufacturing and services both in the sense like raw material and services both so for that we are having two different reconciliation account right for manufacturing different and service different now since in single vendor in, in in a vendor master what will happen you can update only one reconciliation account so what will happen guys here there is involvement of at the time of manufacturing if you purchase manufacturing in the sense raw materials and all those if you are going to post any invoices related to raw materials then what is happening though that should hit this reconciliation account at the time of if you time of purchasing like let's suppose we are purchasing any service item then in that case it should hit this reconciliation account so what will happen guys you have to do the configuration settings or alternative until alternative reconciliation account that is already explained now so here what we have done we have done the gl mapping gl mapping we have done right here we have done the gl mapping now what is the use of this alternative reconciliation account id okay now alternative reconciliation account id is see for example this gl are quite simple to see here 2000 2004 right 2004 and 2000 here now but in real time what is happening the gl number will be not the length will not be of four digit it will be minimum six digit i have seen till now so minimum six digit digit or eight digit or ten digit maximum ten digit gl number will be there let's suppose that 10, 10 digit GL number is there. Okay, for manufacturing, we are having like, let's suppose this is the okay, this okay, this is the 10 digit GL number. Okay, this is for manufacturing and this is for service. Let's suppose this is okay so now it will be very difficult to remember uh, you know it is it is very difficult to remember this what to say uh, a gl number at all if you are going to post the invoices let's suppose this is a default reconciliation account at the time of posting invoices right this is going to appear now we have to change from this one to this one so manually what is happening manually you have to now you are going to put this alternative reconciliation account while posting the invoices so now there might be but if you are not unable to because this much 10 digit is let's suppose you are unable to remember so in that case what is happening guys in that case we are having this functionality okay so we are going to give a two digit code okay let's suppose this is manufacturing reconciliations right and this is service so here for service we are going to give a code it means like in vendor master if you are having manufacturing reconciliation account that's supposed to be replaced by that can be replaced by service one so here sr i have given a two digit code if in vendor master we are having service reconciliation account by default that can be replaced by manufacturing so here we are going to give here we are going oh my god it's gone i guess let me check yes i'll have to log in once again guys just wait for a second Okay, so now here, let's suppose 
I'll open this configuration step once again. Until accounting new, we are having receivable and payable. And here, business transactions. And then here, alternative reconciliation. So here, what I have done, guys. Okay, let me give the chart of account. So here. So now, what is happening for this? This is our, this alternative reconciliation account is for service. I'm going to give a code here for HR and here I'm going to give, this is this alternative reconciliation account that is for manufacturing. So I'm going to give two digit code MN and save it. So here what is happening guys now, if you are going to post any invoices, say for example, I'll show you. So I have given, instead of GL account, I have given a two digit code. If you go to FB60, okay, and say for example, this is the vendor number. Okay, let me check the company code. Yes, correct. So now I'm going to post the invoice. Let's suppose an invoice for them. And here, give a ZL number and here amount. Now here, what is happening guys? So let's suppose, this vendor this vendor is just press enter okay so what is happening if you click on details now what is happening guys this vendor generally from this vendor we are going to procure manufacturing item but this time what is happening we are going to procure service item but this is this whatever the gl reconciliation gl is appearing this is for manufacturing look at your account payable man manufacturing right so what we have to do we have to change the ZL account okay so for service now we are going to but procure service so i'm going to give service ZL, right press enter now look at here it got changed now what i said since your four digit gl number is there so it is quite easy to remember but at the same time it is if it is 10 digit gl number then it will be a bit difficult to remember so instead of entering the ZL number even we have we have defined two digit code so for service we have defined sr if you give SR and press enter, look at here, automatically system is going to fetch the ZL number. Right? Here I have given the code instead of giving the 10 digit or 8 digit, whatever ZL number is there, instead of that, if you're going to give this alternative reconciliation account code, system is going to fetch this. Right? Now, okay. Reconciliation account MN or short key MN not permitted. Okay, so now here SR is going to be permitted here. Okay, yeah, save it. Now MN will be permitted if you are going to post this one for a different vendor. Okay, let's suppose same again amount I'm going to post. Okay, now so here this vendor is like service vendor now from service it means like mainly we are going to procure services from this vendor now let's suppose in certain cases we are going to procure even raw material also okay so now in that case what is happening here the reconciliation account which is appearing is for service right so you have to change the reconciliation account because this time raw material we are going to it means manufacturing item so just give 2000 it got accepted right or else instead of 2000 what code we have given guys this is for manufacturing right so mn code i have given you give mn code and look at here it is getting so this is what the use of reconciliation account id in case the gl account is quite lengthy like eight digit ten digit and it's you are unable to remember so we are going to give a two digit code here and whatever code we are going to give so at the time of posting invoices if you have to change the reconciliation account then what will happen guys here we are going to change the reconciliation reconciliation account so instead of giving account account number we are going to give this code and if you give the code system will be able to read out that okay mn means okay the original reconciliation account is going to be replaced by this one sr means the you know original reconciliation account is going to be replaced by this alternative reconciliation account this is what the use of this is what the use of alternative reconciliation account id that's all in this system guys